Chris Brown here, no nonsense, no how. Real quick, how to adjust the idle speed in this 1996 Dodge Ram with the 12 valve Cummins P7100 pump. You can see mine's idling quite a bit high right now, right around 900 RPM. The spec for this is 750 to 800 RPM with the air conditioning on when the engine's up to operating temperature. Okay, so after shutting the engine off, the preferred tools are going to be two 10 millimeter wrenches. And at first glance, you might think it's on the front of your pump up here where the throttle cable is. But if you follow that lever on the bottom there to the back, it's on the back side. Here. And where it attaches to on this arm, if you look just behind that, that is it located right there. There's a 10 millimeter nut, which I already have loose. And then the top of this thing is a 10 millimeter hex. And you can see when you let go of your throttle, it lands right on top of that hex. So to lower your RPM, you would turn this hex in a little bit like that. And to raise the RPM, turn it counterclockwise if you're looking down at it and bring it up some. Then go ahead and start your engine. Make sure it's set where it needs to be. And once you're done with that, you can thread this lock nut back up, jam nut, and uh, tighten that back down. You just might need to hold the top with a 10 millimeter wrench to keep it from spinning. That's why I say you need two wrenches. And you can see over time, you might need a adjustment on this because as you're letting on and off the, the throttle, this is metal on metal, just smashing onto that, wearing into it. The only tip I'll give you here is, yeah, you're gonna be reaching your hands under to get to get your wrench on there. But if you come over top, you will be able to see what your hand's doing and actually get your finger on that adjusting nut. It's sitting right, right there. That is the nut. Yeah, not a great camera angle, but you get my point. You can see what your hands are doing down there. And now I've got mine dropped down a little bit where it needs to be. Snap the throttle a couple times, make sure it stays there, good to go. Anyway, I hope I got right to the point there. It didn't go too fast for you. Give it a thumbs up if the video helps out. Consider checking out my channel. I got some other videos on these comments too. And until next time, this is Chris Brown here. No nonsense, no how. I'll see you later.